Hello. Hello. I have arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight, theoretical medical professional. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Yes, we have returned. On schedule, too, if you can believe it. I can. But yes, so. Yeah, yesterday, some things came up, and then some things changed, and then other things came up, and it was just a whole big mess. So, that day was not going to work out for streaming, unfortunately. But, we are here now, and that is what matters. So yes. So, not too, too much to say before we get started. But yeah, normally, I would do an operator spotlight before we get started here. Uh, well, I guess normally, I would do it after, but... Uh, I did, uh, didn't have time to, or rather, I had plenty of time to, but I did forget to. I forgot to get prepared for that. Yeah, I haven't quite gotten into the habit, the habits that I built up for streaming quite again yet. But yes, so, let's go over business. So tonight, Arc Nights, once again, next week, should be on Tuesday, ideally. Yeah, should be seeing some more Arc Knights once again. Yeah, maybe, maybe not Wednesday. Who knows? Again, currently, right now, I'm planning to, aside from collabs, do one Arc Knight stream a week, and then, well, I suppose the collabs don't have anything to do with the Arc Knight stream. But yes, as of right now, as I understand it, we are still currently planning on doing the collab, Sheppy Sheps and I. Continuing that every other week on Fridays. Yeah, I we haven't quite worked out the final schedule at this point, as far as I'm aware. Or at the very least, there could be some changes. But I am not privy to anything quite yet. Yes, so that's that. So if all goes according to plan, once again, you'll be having the probably final episode of Coffee Talk this Friday, and then next week we will be doing some more Arc Nights on Tuesday, and I think I mentioned previously that my current plan, or perhaps goal, might be a better way to put it, is to do an Arc Night stream on every day that, we're, that I don't have the collab, or rather, on the, the off days from the collab, as we are planning on playing every other week. But yeah, so, assuming that we don't have a collab next week, I might do a Arc Knight stream instead, or I might not. We will see. But yes, so that is that. That is the schedule business. Not a whole lot else to say. I already mentioned the lack of an operator spotlight. So we're going to get more or less just into continuing Chapter 5 today. You can pretend I did that on purpose, if you want, to ensure that we would have more time to dive into this new story chapter. New to me, anyway. It's not very new as of the grand scheme of the game. Oops. One thing about this new water bottle is it's very large, so it's a little bit hard to maneuver around, and it's easy to bump into things, especially because I, it's too big for me to put it on my desk with how cluttered my desk is. And honestly, even if it wasn't cluttered, there really wouldn't be any good place to put it where it wouldn't be in risk of bumping into things during the stream. But yes, so, real quick before we get started, I just wanted to, to mention a few things. Yeah, I'm usually not the sort of person who likes to talk about, you know, sort of the, I guess, more business side of things with regards to streaming. But... I did want to just talk a real quick, yeah, about the, the VOD channel specifically, more or less, because yes, recently I've had a, a lot of uh, a lot of engagement there, a lot more than usual, yeah, with uh, a a person leaving me a comment and uh, people leaving me likes on my videos, which is somewhat uncommon, and you know. Once again, I usually, you know, I'm not the sort of person who I would like to encourage you to like my video if you if you want to. That's your prerogative. 
and I will say nothing more to that. But I will say that it's been very encouraging, because, you know, it has been, like I said, a very, very long time of posting videos on YouTube with very little to really show for it. Yeah, a, for a long period of time there, it was pretty rare for them to get a view, and almost unheard of for me to get a comment or a like or anything like that. So, you know, I just wanted to, to say that I, that I do appreciate that. It is very encouraging to know that there are, you know, folks out there who are, in fact, seeing this and enjoying it. And, yeah, once again, you know, I don't want to try to say, you know, you should do this or you shouldn't do this or whatever. That's you. You do you. But, you know, I just wanted to let you know that I do appreciate it. Yes. Anyway, so, Ark Knights. Bum, 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 bum. There we are. And everything is looking good. Well, let us continue on with Chapter 5. <clears throat> But yeah, so I don't think, I don't think I'll practice getting, starting off today. Oh, also, one other thing. Uh, awesomeo169, thank you for the follow. I still haven't figured out a, a way, if there's a way for me to, with my current setup, replay, yeah, replay uh, notifications. Probably I could somehow, but I don't know how to as of right now. So, your meth, your not message, but your, I guess, congratulatory little fanfare that the thing will play will have to go un unheard for right now. Anyway, chapter five, Arknights. Oh yes. So, one thing, as I've mentioned before, I did plan, I have done a little bit of planning in advance, but I did know that Frostleaf was going to feature in this story chapter. Which is part of why I chose to add her to my squad and do an Operator Spotlight on her last week. Though the primary reason was still just that I kind of liked her as a character. But yeah, given that we've seen Jessica and Meteor, and given my preference for including characters who are relevant to the story, we might just give our Penguin Logistics, or at least one of them, I think we're going to keep Texas around for a little bit, at least one of our Penguin Logistics members that that vacation they were talking about, and swap out for Meteor. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Ah, hold on. Snipers. Or sorry, Meteorite. Yes, Meteorite is not to be confused with Meteor. They're both snipers, but they're two very different bolts. So yes, we will bring Meteorite up to parity. Yes, promote. I do. I see that I made the right choice to work here. Well, yes. Uh, I, I don't have a whole lot to say about Meteorite, to be honest. I haven't really looked into her much. I think probably I'll might include her in the next Operator Spotlight to give myself a chance to familiar with my bowgun has improved. But yes, familiarize myself with her functions. But yes, she is an AOE sniper, which means that she can, you know, shoot an enemy and hit enemies that are around them. But yes, Buckshot. That is an offensive recovery skill, so every every few times she shoots, every four times, the next one will be a slightly larger AoE and deal more damage. And High Explosive Shell. Immediately launches a firebomb, dealing 10... Yeah, 210% of attack as physical damage to all hit targets within range, and reduces their defense by 170 for 10 seconds. Ooh. That's quite nice. And then I see she also got a talent here. Yes. Blast attachment refit. Or no. Um, okay, given that it's showing the description, I think she does have the talent, but I think the Elite 2 icon is saying that it gets upgraded when she's promoted to Elite 2. Yes, blast attachment refit. Has a 15% chance to increase the attack of the current attack by 60% when using normal attacks and skills. All right, so similar to her first skill, but it only affects the damage. Yeah, I think I will try out High Explosive Shell. I've used Meteorite a little bit before in my own 
playthroughs. And I've used I've used Buckshot before, but you know, there's not a whole lot of manual. Yeah, it's not a manual manually activated or anything, so there's not a whole lot of strategy to it. Reporting for duty. Indeed. And so next, we're going to add the other sniper on Frostleaf Squad. Jessica. I think I've mentioned Jessica before, but we've not really talked too much about her. Yes, we will promote Jessica as well. Doctor? I'm... I'm so happy you're honoring me. Just... let me cry it out for a bit. I'll be fine! Jessica is very excited to be receiving a promotion. But yes. So... Fast cartridge, attack speed plus six, fair enough, pretty straightforward. Oh no, we, now that I think about it, yeah, we we talked about, yeah, we talked about um, black steel operators before, and we also, you know, Jessica has featured in the story before, so we've definitely talked about her. But yeah, so power strike beta increases, yeah, increases the damage of every fifth hit, I suppose. I think it's every sixth because it would be yeah it has, they have to strike five times to charge it and then the sixth one would discharge it yes and smoke screen attack plus 25 percent 75 percent chance to dodge all physical and arch attacks ah that's pretty nice i think i might just want jessica to have a straightforward slightly higher dps I don't see her taking a whole lot of damage, though of course that could change. But for right now, I think we're going to stick with Power Strike. Just give your orders and I'll carry them out. Ah, also I forgot to level up, Jessica. That won't do. This seems a lot more effective than training by myself. Indeed. All right. So. Other than that, I think we should be good. I don't see any other adjustments that need to be made. So let us deploy. <clears throat> uh, there are two enemies left. They're running towards the building to our east. I've already locked onto them. Hmm? Ah! Bullseye. Aren't we making too much noise? There are a ton of explosions all over the city. I don't think they'll notice. Have you notified Dr. Calcite yet? I called her before the battle started. There's evidence that Reunion is conducting their operations in this city. I haven't hung up yet. Shouldn't we be a bit stealthier with our movements? That Reunion member just now just seemed to be using detection type arts. We'll have to strike first so that we don't give away our location. At least, we can't give these reunion squads time to communicate with each other. <sighs> it's finally over. Rossleaf, assess the situation. Understood. Here, hold on to the comms device. Sure. Jessica, don't let your guard down just yet. Jessica is a, is a woman who has definitely not been calm at any point in her life, so we don't need to worry about that, I don't think. Of course, I'm aware of that. All right, all right, I won't mention it again. Dr. Calcite, can you hear me? Always could. Indeed, you can't afford to let your guard down yet. Jessica, there might be an enemy behind you. Uh, how, how did they get behind me? Uh -huh. uh. If I can attack you from behind, that means you are too slow. We're fine for now, Dr. Calcite. Taking out the enemy. You really are fast. I couldn't even see how you managed to get over there and come back so quickly. Actually, I never even left. Hmm. Project Red contacted me. There are no signs of activity from the reunion forces hiding in Lung Men. At this stage, it'd be best not to poke the hornet's nest. By the way, according to the intel I've received from the other recon teams, there may, there may be a, substantial, a fairly substantial reunion presence in the desert. In other words, we're the ones who hit the jackpot? 
That does put a little bit of pressure on us. And you're also a re we're also only a recon team after all. If that's the case, we've already eliminated two reunion squads so far. Are you absolutely sure about the affiliation of the enemies we first exchanged fire with, Jessica? Yeah, there shouldn't be any mistake. I double-checked before asking you to shoot. My bad. I was busy calculating the ballistic trajectory. What about the enemy's numbers? We don't know the exact number. Crossleaf, how's it going over there? Hmm. What's the matter? Go take care of it. Let me know right away if there's an issue. Will do. Let's head over to her to see what's going on. Hmm. Looking like a chill is setting in. What happened? You two didn't feel it? Huh? What? The temperature. Now that you mention it, it does seem colder. The temperature. Indeed, there's at least a five degree difference compared to the temperature outside. How could such fair weather change so suddenly? Look above you. The weather hasn't changed. Huh? It's not the weather. It's coming from here. Come, feel this. The walls of the ruins? That's right. These walls are heat absorbing. No way! Before we came, the heat absorption had probably worn off. It's returned to the previous temperature. But why? Who would leave behind something like this? Reunion are the only ones who've been active in these parts. Reunion? Did they do something like this? The infected. I once heard of a certain legend about a creature called the Yeti. I have a feeling this is going to get real troublesome. Alright, the battle begins. Alright, pretty really straightforward it looks like. One area to defend, two, a few angles to defend from. Tip. So yes, continuing with our guard theme. So yeah, I saw in the sort of mission description it suggests using, using physical damage, so we'll probably focus on that. Hmm. It looks like we're getting a lot of our enemies coming up on the top sides at this point. I don't know that that's necessarily going to stay that way. Let's see, can you block two? Yes, you can. You're fine for right now. You've got an arts user coming down from the south. Yeah, so I'm assuming that we're probably going to have more standard enemies up on the top from the Everyone, looks of things. I think we will place... We might place Frostly facing down just to cough, just to harass enemies a little bit coming from the bottom. And just because we've already got the squad here. Hmm. So I guess we don't... Hmm. If we place Jessica here, we can't heal everybody all at once. We don't necessarily need that, though. Hmm. It might be best to see if we can eliminate... Actually, yeah. We haven't had any melee units or any ranged units come from this side yet. So we might not need to concern ourselves with it, necessarily. Okay, we're definitely going to need healing uh, now, basically. All right. Unfortunate. Um, a defender is fine, I suppose. No issue with using a defender. Ah, and I hadn't thought of this, but Gummy can also apply some support in the form of, yeah, healing her teammates. 
might have been a little bit better to place Kazemaru slightly more forward. Okay, yeah, now we're getting more enemies on the bottom side. So I might need a little bit more defense down there, too. Because they are going to get past Frostleaf otherwise, I do believe. Ah, right, I do need to use her skill manually now. Probably wasn't the most ideal situation to be using it, but it is what it is. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Interesting. Okay, so I thought that the, the double would appear directly in front of her. But it seems like it just... It seems almost like it targeted the, the enemies that were to the south of her. Yes. Um... Can I see the range on this? No. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, we're doing pretty good so far. Jessica is taking damage, which is less than ideal, and she's going to continue taking damage, so let's do something about that. Yeah, we've got a lot of enemies down here, so we're going to need to apply a little bit more defense for the time being. Initiation. Okay, yes. Is that... Oh no, it's not active. Yes, I don't think Durnar is going to last a whole lot longer down there, unfortunately. But, we can apply a little bit more heat. Yes, and now we can get some more healing with... Ah. A little bit more healing with Gabriel, but it was too late, unfortunately. Yeah. I was wondering what that green particle effect around Telopsis was, but I think that probably was the healing over time from Gaviel's ability. <coughs> Sick. Uh, ah! Look out! Uh, ouch. S -s Sorry, I didn't mean to run into you. Don't worry about it. You're very polite. <laughs> um, ma'am, what are you doing here? It's still raining. You're not going to go inside? Uh, um, I'm just taking a walk. Are you looking for help? Oh, how'd you know? I can't tell you. It's a secret. Uh, it's fine, though. Ma'am, do you think... Hmm, that probably wouldn't work. You're a bit too short. Hey, you shouldn't say stuff like that. You're shorter than me. Well, well, well we could try and... Um, um, could you help me move that board? Let's do it together. There's a record player under that metal rack. I want to take it back home. Sure. One, two, three, together! We did it. Whoa, you're really strong, ma'am. Thank you. But this record player is broken. It's okay, it's always been broken. But one day I'll be able to fix it. I collected a lot of records, but I've never listened to them before. But one day I'll play them for everybody. Hmm. Such a difficult thing, said so casually. What am I doing this for? What can I even do? Mm, Ma'am, you're not scared of me? Mm, scared of what? I'm an infected. <laughs> I am too. What? That's such a pity. You're so pretty too. Mm. There's nothing wrong with being an infected, whether you're healthy or infected. If you're a good person, that will never change. Huh? I don't I don't get it. Mm. Are you hungry? Mm-hmm. Here, take this. It's all I have. Wow. Thank you, ma'am. But why did you come here? I It's because 
It's because I made a promise to someone. Bye bye, ma'am. Sure. Bye bye. Even a child like that, in the end, will just. Those who are robbed of their identity, be infected. You've long lost the right to call yourself these people. What can I accomplish? What more can I do? Why can I not protect those around me? You cannot. No, I... Famine, persecution, death. These are the only things awaiting the infected. No, that's, that's not true. As long as Rhodes Island is fighting for the infected, you are but one of the few lucky ones. No, we've all come together to fight towards a common goal. This world has already become cold and callous. No, not yet. The infected can't succumb to despair just yet. You. Allow the rage to consume you. Only then. I... No. I won't. I made a promise. I made a promise to her. Huh? Who's that? A big sister once told me that these dolls won't work unless you make them yourself. So, that's why I'm giving this to you. That voice just now. That silhouette. Is that Madame Chen? Madam Chen. Hmm. Hmm. Madam Chen? What are you doing here? I thought you were... None of your concern. This is Lung Men's business, and I will take care of it. Madam Chen. This is the first time I've seen that look in her eyes. I remember every enemy I fought. Not a single one escapes. Good to know. Alright. And so, we move on. Yeah, I meant to mention it earlier. But I'm thinking we might have a little bit of a short stream on our hands today. I'll go for at least one more mission. But we might only get one more mission. Uh, high energy originium radiation has been detected in Chernabog. If enemy units absorb this radiation, active originium. Operators deployed on it and, enemy and enemies who have passed it will take constant damage, but their attack and attack speed will be increased significantly. Good to know. All right, I don't see any reason to make any changes as of right now. I understand. All right, keep in touch. Let me know if you catch wind of anything. Just press the third button. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Dr. Tiber? Where's Amia? She went to the slums. You actually let her go alone. Whatever. At least someone is protecting her. I suppose you wouldn't be able to do anything even if you went with her. I'll let you off the hook this time. Did you also come back by yourself? Oh, Penguin Logistics. You also need to take better precautions to stay, to stay safe. We won't always have the luxury of reliable local guides. Dr. Tiber? 
Amia will not be in Lungmen for a long time since she has other missions to do. You will have to face her again. If I were you, I'd make sure to tell her the things that I couldn't say before. Ah, Doctor? Were you waiting for me this whole time? Sorry to have kept you waiting. Mm-hmm. My complexion looks different from when I left. Mm, some things happened. I feel like... Perhaps Madame Chen has her own way of looking at things. Even though her words are harsh and she has done some things that I can't accept. Maybe the difference between us isn't that big. She has her responsibilities. Oh, I understand now. She also has her share of burdens to bear. Perhaps I also. Amya, you have plenty of responsibilities yourself. Is that so? I just didn't have other choices. At least you saw your choices through. I suppose all these consequences were the results of my persistence. Doctor, there's no need to try to comfort me. Actually, I'm well aware of this. But what I don't know... What I don't know is how long do we have to keep going before this world begins to change. But what I do know for sure is that I won't give up. I'll always bear the consequences of my actions. Because I chose this path. Doctor, will you stay by my side? Even though this guilt will always stay with me? The regret of not being able to bring everyone with me. The regret of not being able to save my friends. But I must face reality. With everyone in Rhodes Island. My dog is touched by her emotional, her emotional declaration that her is getting fussy because everyone else is going to bed and he's alone now. And I'm sorry, you can't stream with me. <clears throat> hmm? A message from Dr. Calcite? Dr. Calcite, did you need something? Amia, I've received communications from a few recon teams. The situation has changed for the worse. Okay, I'll be right there. Artificial cold. Alright, we have commencing. two whole locations to protect. We have detected powerful, active originium diffusion from some parts of the land. Perhaps this is an after effect of the catastrophe. Doctor, this highly active originium seems to stimulate nearby creatures significantly increasing their potency for a short period of time. However, it also has negative effects on their physiology and reduces the reliability of operators' protective equipment. The conclusion is, it is quite a tricky thing to leverage for both the infected and the non-infected. We suggest that you take extra caution when making any battle plan in this area. So yes, active originium. We'll start with Texas. And it, I believe that enemy was going straight towards us. In position. Might not have been ideal to deploy quite yet. Might have been good to have a sniper out earlier, but oh well. And we will stun him. All right. Now, there we go. A little bit more damage. But we are going to need a healer pretty soon here. Yeah, hopefully. Hmm. Okay, I'm not... Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm not liking this. I should have packed it a little bit sooner. Oh well. Yeah, I'm underestimating these fellows a little bit. And that's no good. So, who do we want to bear the... The price of this originium tile. 
I almost feel like Frostleaf would be good, but... I feel like, I don't know, I'm assuming that enemies will try to cross over it at some point, thus, you know, bringing us to a point where it's relevant. But that's not guaranteed, necessarily. Light Armored Soldier. A more potent Light Armored Soldier. A uh, Light Armored Soldier Leader, specifically. Yes, okay, more defense. And you know what defense means? Arts. Alright. Do we... Uh, I don't know that we need to. Well, I don't know. It's not really a matter of needing to. It's a matter of expediency. But yes, Kazemaru will make this go a little bit faster and a little bit smoother. Okay, now we have enemies passing by. And it might have been better to deploy Telopsis round about here or so. Sit. That way we could have healed enemies or allies on this tile while still facing backwards this way. But unfortunately that is not what I did, so we're just going to have to live with this. So, if anyone would be good at... Well, I don't know. I don't know if I want to use Gabiel because I do want Kazemaru to take some damage. Hmm. On standby. Okay. Mm, this was probably a bad idea. Okay, yeah, I did not do that quite so well as I could have. Estesia, please, uh, okay, there we go. And since Durnar is alive, uh, we'll use her. Hmm. You'll, you'll pay for that. No problem. And what are we targeting? Uh, you know what? That's fine. The, well, the de defense decrease isn't going to affect them because they're being attacked by an arch unit, but oh well. Sarkaz Crossbowman, a mercenary from Sarkaz who boasts fairly high attack and resistance and uses ranged attacks. Okay. Good thing that we deployed Durnar, uh, after Gaviel. Deploy? Ooh, very nice. Alright, there we go. We got a good defense decrease, but again, it won't really matter. Whoops. Please heal. Yep, Philopsis. Please, please. Ensure that Estesia is not uh, destroyed by this fellow. Yeah, she seems to be doing just fine. But we might not be doing just fine forever. Because, yes, we've got more enemies heading towards Estesia. Mm. Jessica, we might want another blocker. I think we're going to want another blocker. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, I wasn't keeping track of the situation in the middle, and now it has fallen apart slightly. We don't have a lot of enemies left, so we don't necessarily need to keep... Whoops, not you. We don't necessarily need to keep a hold of the situation for too long. That enemy is going to die soon, so they're kind of not an issue, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, Frostly, uh, looks like... Okay, we do have one enemy coming our way. All right. Still don't get to see Kazemaru's... <laughs> now I'm starting to say it like that. Kazemaru's, uh, cool skill. Mm. All right. Do I... I did promote Frostly. Right. Yeah, I guess she just doesn't have a whole, whole lot of defense. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, Stelzia has a lot more defense than she does. Twice as much about... Well, okay, not twice as much, but... A lot more. Get moving. What's going on? Don't make a sound. <laughs> Are they still around? They're still here. They seem to be searching for something. Our union member is heading our way. We may need to hide. 
we need to hide even. Definitely, for sure. Must be my imagination. Can you get a clear shot on him? Too far away. The explosions stopped as soon as they appeared. They're too spread out. There's no way I'd be able to take them all off, off that, then off out all three at once. Also, their movements are nothing like those ordinary street thugs. The other reunion troops don't seem to be dressed as heavily. Oop. That's right. As you can see, we must be extremely careful. Any of them survived and call for reinforcements will be in serious danger. On top of that, I see one person over there in Castor attire, and they seem to be testing something. If they're also able to use detection arts. They might be able to detect us just based on a bullet based upon a bullet we fire. So basically our hands are tied, even though it's three versus three, it feels like we've been surrounded. Things aren't looking good. I really dislike this kind of feeling. We were supposed to be the hunters. It feels like we've all been cornered into hiding by bigger prey. Wait, they seem to be communicating with someone. I can't hear what they're saying from here. I'm going to get closer. Don't. No, it's too risky right now. It's too quiet. We don't know what kinds of infected we're facing yet. Any of them with enhanced hearing will be in trouble. What are they waiting for? Something feels off about this. Could it be? Jessica, are you feeling it too? Yeah, I'm also... The temperature is dropping again. So... Oh... Could they be behind this? Jessica, why are you biting your fingers? So that her teeth don't shatter and make noise. I don't think that's necessary yet, but what a diligent kid. Me, you're just a kid too. Ah. As if. It's warming back up again. Those three, new, three reunion members left as well. Are they testing out the functionality of something? They appeared without making a sound, only leaving a trail of shivering cold in their wake. They really are like those yetis from legend. Maybe my guess was right. They might just be yetis. Found it. Here's another wall that's been affected by the ice. But look at this. There's a chunk of black originium lodged in the corner. No wonder. The cold wave must have emanated from here. There are distinct patterns on the wall. This chunk of originium is the epicenter of all of this. When I was a mercenary, there was a rumor circulating around. In the northwest, the infected were carrying out guerrilla warfare against Ursus. Among them was a towering monster. As the rumor went, nothing could hold off its advance. Fields would be crumpled, weapons would be snapped. Everywhere the monster went, only a barren tundra, devoid of life, would remain. And within that guerrilla force, there was this one squad. They were like the chill of winter itself. The land was said to freeze underneath their feet. Buildings would collapse, turned into nothing more than grains of snow drifting across an empty battlefield. The trenches where the Ursa soldiers were stationed became their icy grave. Are you saying that... Yes, I think that this is that very legend. The Yeti Squadron. Let's keep going. I have a feeling that we're going to find the Reunion Bay soon. <sighs> What's wrong? Do you smell that as well? The smell of something burning? Trying to escape after I laid you to siege? Don't be silly. Alright. And another mission under our belt. Yes, yeah, looks like we have another branch here. It looks like we have a boss battle here. So yeah, I think for now, I think we will call it good. But yeah, once again, I could start I could eh, I could continue streaming for a little bit longer, but my throat is starting to bother me just a tad. Yeah, once again, I kind of need to get back into the habit of streaming, I guess, for an hour. 
the up for more than an hour. It's been just about an hour, just under an hour, I suppose. But yeah, I definitely would like to keep going, personally, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to push myself too hard and have to, you know, take some time off when I'm already, when I'm just starting to build up my momentum again. So yes, so, Arknights, it has been fun. I feel like I say that every time, but it never ceases to be true, so that's good. But yes, what shall we say, what shall we do? But yes, oh yeah, right, so, end of stream. Go over business again, and then we will go on our merry way raiding. I suppose if anyone has any raid suggestions, feel free to start dropping them now as I get in into things. <clears throat> but yes. So, tonight has been Arc Nights. Once again, uh, schedule allowing. Friday will be the probably the conclusion of Coffee Talk with Sheppy Sheps. And then, after that, at some point, I don't know if it will be immediately, maybe that same day, if the Coffee Talk is short enough. Maybe not. Who knows? We should be starting our next collab series. But if it doesn't start on that day, it might, it will most likely start, it will most likely start in another two weeks. Yeah, once again, I'm currently planning on next Tuesday for the next Arc Night stream, but keep, keep, uh, keep, uh, yeah, keep your eyes out because it could change at any moment, basically. Anything can happen. But yes. Arc Nights, Lab. Dark nights. Oh yeah, next Friday, assuming that I have some some extra time, which I should. But yeah, I will probably do a little bit more arc nights, but who knows? And I think that's all that needs to be said. It looks like we don't have any raid targets today. So, who shall we visit? Hmm. I think we'll go and stop by. Chibi, Asa Chibi VT, yes, doing a just chatting stream it looks like, but yes, so, ba -ba -ba -bum. start up the raid, ba -ba -ba -bum. if this will go, there we go, Chibi VT, and she is a sea cat healer VTuber, and yeah, I don't know. Not a... Yeah. yeah, normally this is when I would say what she would be doing, but I already said that. So, let us get uh, started here. The customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. And, yeah, I already went over the schedule, so we should be good to go. So, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you've had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much, and farewell. Let us get this raid underway. <laughs>